3,299 pounds. This is the definition of 10 pounds of sugar in a five pound sack, a Wildwood 179 DBK. They're different for most single axle campers and that they're seven and a half feet wide and that really defines a lot of the things that you can and can't do with a floor plan. And what's really cool about this one, look around in the RV industry and try to find a camper with double, double bunks under 4,000 pounds. It's almost impossible, but yet here Wildwood's doing it at 3,300 pounds and just smashing through the 4K barrier basically. Now this RV is a textbook example of 10 pounds of sugar in a five pound sack. And even the way they handled the front wall here, a little bit different. This is also one of the many areas where you can see the effect of that seven and a half uh, foot wide body as compared to an industry common seven foot body because it left them room for a decent two adult sofa and you can see that bonus storage closet beside it and that storage closet and the dual side stands that's something that a seven foot wide trailer just wouldn't be able to offer but what's great is you can see that we've got good time uh good, good time good daytime living space <laughs> good time living space <laughs> but the good news is you still maintain a uh a good sleeping area in the evening for the adults Thanks to what this group calls their Jiffy Sofa. It's kind of, I guess the easiest way to describe it, it's an east-west Murphy bed. And it's simple, but it's effective. Now this is not a folding mattress, it's just a normal Camper Queen mattress. But again, it still gives you the ability to have that hanging closet on the side. You've got uh, household outlets on both sides. You got USB outlets on the, I guess what you call the headboard area, as it were. And that's not too far away if at night you just want to leave your phone over here and then use those USB plugs to kind of keep your phone topped off, which is probably what I'd do with it. Uh, you'd be good to go there. So it's a very interesting combination of factors, but it works. Now you might have noticed those little armrests have moved position. I've made it into something of a headrest. They're free floating, they're kind of just like L-shaped and you can move them around wherever you want, however you want. Now entertainment in this RV is different from what you see in most campers and it's genius. This should be something that more RVs, especially small campers, should be doing. Wildwood FSX is ahead of the curve on this. So this is a portable uh, Bluetooth speaker, but it also has an AM FM receiver, which is exceptionally rare. I've done a separate video on how this thing works. If you're ever curious, you can check that out or ask our team and we'll send you a link to it. But you can take this thing anywhere you want. It also doubles as a power bank. So if you want to take this thing to the beach for the day and your phone's dying, because sometimes at the beach you get bad reception, which will eat your battery alive, this can charge a device. And intelligently enough, since it's USB powered, they have USB plugs right next to it. Doesn't that make sense? Now it's a simple series camper and doesn't have a, a massively complicated um, you know, control panel, but they do keep it up here out of the way. Now I've got the door closed currently. If you're looking for rainy day airflow, you can always open that up, but you've got yourself a monster viewing and airflow window right there. You'll also find that whether it's this table or the kitchen countertop, everything has a sealed edge counter about it. And uh, that that's a, whoa, <laughs> we are, I'm actually, you see outside that window how it's moving? <laughs> I jumped in this RV the moment it landed in our drive because I love this floor plan, but the driver's moving right now. And thankfully I got enough of my sea legs from having experience doing this. Now, theoretically, you should not be uh, seeing uh, anything moving outside those windows at your campsite. If it is, your wheel chocks have failed. But what I was getting at <laughs> is that the countertops are all sealed, so they're uh, waterproof. And additionally, this can fold down into a bonus sleeper. And that gives this thing a maximum sleeping capacity of potentially seven people, but five very easily. Now you've got blackout shades for all these uh, big windows here. And you see now that I've got that table out of the way, there is a set of household outlets right next to that table. You've got USB plugs by that Bluetooth speaker. And then over there on the bunks, you have another set of USB plugs. So there's all sorts of ways to keep everything powered up and running. Now they did something really intelligent here. They put the windows for the bunks on the rear wall. Now those do open for airflow that, you can see it easier down here. The curtain just kind of blocks that off a little bit. You can't see the center beam in that top window, but 
Uh, they do open for airflow, but they put them on the rear wall so that the outside kitchen doesn't uh, block one of the windows potentially. And there's a nice chunk of storage space below. One of the things you won't see in here is floor vents or carpeting. This is a completely carpetless, easy cleaning sort of camper. Ideal for pets, oh, ideal yeah. for kids, and ideal for campsites that sometimes are a little bit sandy. So a quick note for those interested, your TV hookups would be over here to the right of the microwave. It's a smart spot for it because if you put a swing arm out there, it could pivot to face the front sofa slash jiffy bed. It could pivot to face the dinette, maybe swing around to face the bunks. Now remember, this is a wood skeleton wall, so every 16 inches on center on average, you've got something that you could, uh, you know, screw into here. Um, now, up top, this is something the whole Wildwood family is very good about. Adding a shelf in their overhead cabinetry space to really double that. And notice that they have a full-size two-door fridge freezer next to that big farm sink. And that's a big breeze window. One drawer is all you get in here, but I think it's all you need in this little floor plan. They do what they need to. They don't do any more than they have to. But that's kind of what this whole series of campers is about. Again, 10 pounds of sugar and a 5-pound sack. Sometimes you got to be smart about it. Oh, and not only do we have a full-size roof air, but... You've also got in the kitchen here, it's kind of like a skylight, but it can also exhaust cooking heat. It's a really smart one-two punch. Jumping over to the bathroom, you see we've got plenty of legroom, which again, that extra six inches of body space makes a difference. And you can see we've got an easy step in shower and full surround paneling here. So it's not that uh, you know, you're incapable of just taking your towel and wiping down shower walls when you're done. It's that, well, now you don't have to, and I think most people are realizing that RVs, especially this size, don't hold enough water to be taking baths. A shower makes more sense. Plus, you tend to take a fast shower as it is. And even here in the bathroom, once again, we have that sealed edge countertop so that if uh, the kiddos splash a little water around, which they are sometimes inclined to do, it's not going to damage anything. One of the things that has probably been very readily apparent to people who have looked at these campers in the past is the completely revamped inside and outside sort of decor package here. Inside it's lighter and brighter, and outside it is much lighter and brighter. And one of the things, it looks more modern, it looks sharp, it looks neat and edgy and cool and etc. All the 1990s extreme sort of adjectives I, my little 1990s brain could throw at it. But fact is, in hot direct sunlight, it will generate less heat in the camper. By simple virtue of the fact that the skin is now white instead of dark brown, it's going to be cooler in the sunshine. And that's pretty cool to me. Front and rear stabilizer jacks are a good thing on smaller campers like this to help keep it from rocking and rolling around. Some single axle brands will not do front stabilizer jacks just to save a dollar. Now, just like the uh, X-Lite and Full Wildwood uh, sisters this, the FSX smaller series has a system called Tough Coat. You have a 67% thicker uh, nose skin. Your dark metal bands on this are 33% thicker to help avoid heat expansion and contraction. And our sidewall aluminum all has an anti-scratch coating on it so that if you, you know, go buy a tree branch or something and it rakes down the side of the trailer, it's not going to ruin that good look. Also, the darker skin bands, there's a little bit of a sort of glitter about them. It just looks good in direct sunshine black tank flush. Do you know how many single axle trailers have a black tank flush? It, I mean, you, you can basically count them on one hand and I don't think you're even going to fill your entire hand up. The uh, spare tire I think is something that we add to these. I can't remember if that's standard or not because we always do it regardless. And that is a walkable roof by the way. So if you need to get up there for seasonal care maintenance upkeep, you absolutely can. Um, it's also backup camera ready, which is another one of those simple but potentially smart safety features that most single axle trailers simply don't seem to include. And a few more fun features for you on the FSX before we wrap her up. Back here on the rear wall, you've got a full outside shower, hot and cold water in a small single axle conventionally constructed class like this. That is a rare find. It's nice that it's not just a cold water sprayer port, which would be better than nothing, but this is better still. Over here, a little kind of camp kitchen convenience center. So that showery thing on the back kind of doubling as our sink because it's in such a close proximity. But we've got an extra fridge out here. So that brings us up to about eight cubic foot of total cold storage. Now this is very handy for being able to keep drinks and things outside and not have to go in and out all day. 
tell me when more storage is ever the wrong answer, and uh, I'll say that you're wrong. I mean, there's no such thing as too much storage. And then down here, it's just a generic open storage pocket. And the thing is, some people like grills, some people like griddles, some people don't want any sort of outside camp kitchen. So they let you kind of build it to your heart's desire, and you can see that there's a propane quick connect down here. Also, just peeking around the corner, once again, they're very smart about being mobile friendly, and they keep a place to keep some phones or something charged up while you're outside here. You have probably noticed I opened the power awning for us, which does have full length lighting at the base of it. Uh, uh, some, one of those things that most brands of campers are doing now, but there are still a few that are missing. Now what's cool is the, the bottom of the awning is and has been a bright white like this, but the sidewalls now being white instead of brown and brown and brown and brown and brown like they used to be. Although I do, I like that red gradient accent right there. Um, it'll, it'll give you more light in the evening hours. A larger handle and an anti-slam door are two welcome features. I feel like we just walked in on Jody over here. Jody's one of our quality control guys. He's checking everything out on the trailer. As you can see, literally before we even accept it off the delivery truck here at Halo RV, we're very proactive, not reactive. Now, some folks are gonna ask, how do you have a camper that's a little bit bigger and weighs a little bit more, but it's only on a single axle? It's because it has a heavier chassis and a heavier axle. Makes sense. But it sits higher as a result, so they gave it a double entry step. Makes sense. These guys, they make a lot of sense. Now one really cool thing about that Jiffy bed, it creates a monster pass-through storage compartment right there. So if you have things like big chairs or a portable solar panel for off-grid camping, and wouldn't you know it, right next to that is a portable solar prep plug, you've got the perfect place for all of your prep stuff. So. If you like what you see, I don't care where you live. All I ask is you give our team here at Halet RV the opportunity to work with you. We don't do hidden dealer fees, but we do hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.